Okay, I have officially seen the bottom of the barrel in terms of games. There are two games that I'm going to talk about today that are basically, uh, look, they just don't sound as fun as people probably thought that they were when they were thinking of these ideas. Before I do begin though, if you enjoy the opinions on this channel, then make sure that you subscribe uh, and check out some other videos on the channel because I think uh, that you might like them. Of course, check them out after you check this one out. Um, and if you do enjoy this video, uh, why not give it a thumbs up because that helps me, uh, tells me what you like tells me what you enjoy and if you do dislike the video which I have no problems with please dislike it if you want to that's not a problem at all uh, but I would ask that if you do do that then you comment down below in a way that you think that I can improve what you think that I'm doing wrong why you didn't like the video would be great just it would be helpful to me so that I can improve as a creator uh, and I should let you know that I do upload videos on Mondays and Fridays with other stuff in between uh, but getting on with the show we're going off traffic uh, off track here train sim world 2020 I mean, it literally sounds as fun as i would imagine that it is and uh, when you're looking at uh, what you're looking at right now is the trailer for this game and honestly let me tell you this this game looks about as interesting as avgn's i think it was big rigs the game there or big hall or something trucking whatever it is there's a game if you haven't seen it uh, where you literally have to drive a bus across two states of america it's, I think, an eight-hour drive or something, and you can't just leave the controller on because you need to actually steer the bus. Yeah, th this train simulator sounds about as much fun as that game, and that's not even the worst part, okay? There's a cost. That's right, you actually have to pay for this game, okay? I, I don't imagine there's a physical copy, so that means you actually have to go to the PlayStation Store and search for the game, which means that there are probably people out there who have been keen to play this game or have been waiting for Train Simulator World, whatever it is, 2020, because I can't see this being a game that they put on shelves, or if it is, I would love to know where they're selling this. And look, by the way, if you do want to play Train Sim World 2020, then that is fine, okay? If it's your hobby, if you love trains and you want to be a train driver or, you know, you just want to know what it feels like to maybe be a train driver, then this is probably as close to a great simulator as you're going to get. Uh, and, you know, sh sort of actually going to school um, to learn to be a train driver or a conductor or whatever they call them. Uh, who else? Who else is this game designed for? Honestly, like, tell me now, please. And if you played this game, then let me know what the achievements are in the comment section below. I'm, I'm so keen. I don't know. Uh, like, I feel like I'm ragging on this game. And I don't really mean to do that uh, because, again, I'm sure that someone or many someones out there find this game kind of exhilarating. OK, and that's fine. I'm sure there are some children out there who probably dream of being train drivers or conductors. Again, I don't know what the term is for a train driver um, and this this isn't to say by the way that being a conductor or a driver or whatever of a train is a bad thing in fact from what I know they're actually pretty well paid so and there's a government job as well so that's not bad okay but then there's the trailer and in the trailer they're trying to sell the thrill of the game and I just don't understand it doesn't look like you even need to make or build train tracks okay that's all i'm saying to you it's not like you build train tracks you drive on the train tracks and you see what your train tracks are like could you make a, a crash happen it literally just looks like you drive trains okay I'm, I'm also curious to know if there's a promotion system in the game you know do you need to train people do you get to be a conductor do you get to be the boss uh, do you employ other people what is the go with this I, i'm so curious i'm almost about to buy this i'm not gonna buy this game though just so you're aware um and i know that i'm going too far uh, could there be an online mode by the way <laughs> this, uh, th this game is just incredible um but then the next game that i want to talk about i said two games the next game i want to talk about is equally as bad now i want to talk about this one more later on because you know it's at, at some point um there is so much more to talk about for this game it's just this is this is a free one okay that's a this is the bonus for you this is a free game you don't have to pay for this one and for that alone this is hilarious and something that you could spend you know some time on during this uh, during the panda time that we're in right now okay the game is called fishing planet that that is what it's called it's literally as fun as it sounds all you do and i honestly i can't stress this enough all that you do is fish you go fishing you walk around you go fishing some more, you walk around some more. You catch fish, and some of the fish, by the way, the game tells you that you run the risk of getting a fine for if you take them with you, so you catch them, and then you release them. And look, I understand that's probably adding the real-life element to this game, but in all honesty, who in the world is looking for real-life 
elements and fun in this kind of game when if I want to go fishing, I want to be catching the best fish and I'm not throwing anything back. I want to keep my fish. I want to get the money for every fish. I'm not, this is, if I wanted to go fishing in real life, I would literally go fishing in real life. Okay, but I guess for those fishing fans out there who want to have a beer and just go fishing at the end of the day after a long day of hard work and you just want to sit back and just go fishing, you know, I mean, unless you have a pool in the backyard that you want to put some fish into uh, to make, you know, life interesting and you can real life fish in the backyard in your pool, you're going to have to get yourself a PS4, maybe an Xbox One. I'm not sure if this is on Xbox One. Get yourself a PS4, grab a beer and go fishing from the comfort of your own home. Seriously, I downloaded this game just to see what it's like, and to be honest, you know, it it was about as much fun as it sounds, which is not very much at all. But the only other thing when I played this that made this even more hilarious than, like, downloading it in the first place is the fact that other people were on the same plane as I was. There were other people playing this game as well. Do you understand what that means? I I was actually amazed at the fact that there were other people playing Fishing Planet at the same time as me, okay? It was hilarious to me. It is still hilarious to me that people want to play this game. And look, I get that there are people out there who love to go fishing. I get that there are people out there who really enjoy Fishing Planet for some weird reason that just live to fish. I understand that completely. That is fine. I don't want to rag on your uh, your hobbies and the things that you find to be fun because that's that's cool, okay? You, you find that to be fun. That's not a problem at all. I think that is great. And, you know, when you're fishing with other people, it is awesome. Out there in the real world, it's fun. Here at home, by yourself on a PS4, it is not as much fun to me personally, but that is me. Again, you might enjoy it and I have no problem with that. Uh, Anyways, look, that is all from me. Uh, If you've played either of these games or if you know or think that either of them are fun, uh, then let me know in the comment section below. I really, really want to know who would enjoy this game. Uh, Honestly, go down there right now and leave a comment to let me know. Uh, Or if you do enjoy the opinion within this video and maybe you think that these games aren't so much fun, it's a good idea that you click that subscribe button uh, and, you know, check out some of the other videos on the channel like the one that just popped up for you right now. That would uh, honestly help me as as well. Uh, And... Don't forget to click the thumbs up button. And if you don't like the video, you can thumbs down the video. That's not a problem at all. But leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, If you do thumbs down the video, then let me know where I can improve. That's all that I'm asking. Um, All these options I'm giving to you right now. But as always, when you step away from YouTube today, make sure that you spread some love, spread some peace, and make sure that you make someone laugh. Because that is one of the most... uh, amazing things that you can do for a person especially during this time the panda time this is the time to make people laugh because this is the time when we need it anyways i will see you in the next video bye